Okay, ready for a new set of the opponent's perspectives. I've had a few practice sessions since the uh, last recording and um, yeah, trying to get into the mindset of the opponent, trying to look at our weaknesses, try and look at what we're doing wrong. One of the key things I'm noticing is that it's that lack of focus on what the opponent can potentially do. So even though we've we've got an attack set in our brain in and we're moving the pieces and we're feeling good, still has to have to always look at, well, how are you landing? What can the opponent actually do to you? So we'll jump in with the 10 minute. Like I say, I don't record every game because you know, that's like, um, I'm not gonna get the practice in. So let's just attack here. Oh, we've given them the fried. How do we get out of this now? We've given them the fried. I'm gonna have to push this Santa or maybe take the pawn. Okay, let's continue. I don't like that position. I've not done this for ages. Uh, I don't like this opening. I re Whoa, they're doing it slightly different. They're doing it slightly different. Oh yeah, they've done it totally different. So that means I don't really know, because it looks like I can take this, but the queen's looking to put the check on. Knight comes back. That square, well, that square bishop can't come out. So I think we can take the pawn, can't we? Let's take it. This is all new to me now. They've done it totally different. Doesn't mean it's not workable, but uh, let's let's play chess. Boom boom. Go here, see if we can get the rook across. Uh, he's going for it, and he's got the pawn anyway. Nothing. Oh, his bishop's gonna take and. Oh my gosh! Why didn't I see that? That's so. Damn basic. Okay, let's come here. It's possible to defend it. It's possible. Let's come here with the knight. Not gonna get twisted. I think the position looks fairly okay. It's got, it's just whipping stuff off the board. This is really annoying. Let's hope they get arty and forget the queen is under. No, they're not. Way too arty for me. Right. We need to get back into the game here. With their plus two with the pawns. Oh, how did we allow that to happen? Oh, we didn't do the calculation at all. We mumbled through and said, well, we can do this, but we didn't do a calculation. He's getting pawns left, right and centre. Wow. Okay. 
He must surely pay the price for the Queen doing all that work. He's not going for anything now. It's off again. This is the Are they only moving us? Crack. I'm hoping it looks like the wheels have come off of their attacking bus. Ooh, damn, spotted it. Well, I shouldn't be surprised, should I? They always spot stuff. This is the crucial stage of, even though we're material up, this is still the crucial stage that's still playing on. Slightly annoying.
still trying to block off what they can do attacking any kind of weaknesses the idea really is to get these pieces off the board and or squish the king somehow Kings on a white square. Maybe he's looking to attack our. We can go with a two on one. Reduce the pieces down. Queen definitely has got no spaces for checks on us. We can reduce down. Don't want to waste movements, but I think simple reducing. It's the case of not being arty and let's not showboat. I know it's only training and practice, but let's not showboat and keep it practical. Okay, all right, so we'll go on to another one in the opponent's perspective and keep it as simple as possible. Focus on what the opponent is attempting to do. We've got to feel comfortable in our opening because that's putting your best foot forward. If you don't put your best foot forward, you're going to fall over. So, capturing, capturing, try and go with what you're used to. Just take in. Get the bishop out attacking the knight. Take the knight off the board. Develop the knight supporting the pawn and castle. Dark square bishop probably feeling good attacking this pawn because it's got no protection. So let's go with that. What was that noise? That's strange enough. The castle on the queen side, this pawn's got no protection momentarily, but we can't get to it. Queen could slide here to put a check on, but I don't think we'll get away with that. Bishop's going to go anywhere because the rook's going to have a check on. So it could actually go and put a two on one on, couldn't it? So we go here, it could put two on one on this pawn. And then we go with the check, we do win the tempo, he moves. And then we could take the bishop off the board. Alright, let's do that. Make sure we're going on to the right square. Bishop's got no protection, but we have a plan. Oh, and they've blocked it. They've blocked it. So do we start pushing the pawn up just to make them feel like something's happening? White square bishop's going to move. Gonna be on the queen. Okay, I don't think we need to worry too much about that. Get to the side. And just keep pushing this pawn for now. Don't think they'll take, I think they'll push. Oh yeah, let's put a check on the king. We want to try and fashion some way of getting our queen in here. How do we get rid of that pawn? Pawn takes, queen takes. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Attack the queen. That would be nice. Don't think it's going to go like that though, but on paper, it looks nice. Yeah, the queen's defending the damn thing. Oh, 
Beautiful. Look at that there, though. That's a nice one. Just squeeze this in here. The bishop's protecting the knight at the minute, attacking the queen. I don't think it gives me any more glory than that, though, so it might be a rubbish position, really. Because it doesn't really have an out. And the bishop is actually under attack. So it's not going to stay there for long. So we're going to lose the knight. Oh. We're going to have to. Oh, we can't even do that because the bishop and the queen are supporting each other. Oh, oh that was a waste. Could hide it in the corner. Oh, it was too arty. It was too arty. Just going to push and push. Ooh. Oh, it felt good. I think I was annoyed that I didn't get the queen in here. So I continued the motion. Didn't do a full calculation again in that. Yeah, he's just going to push, push. Can't get the knight out. I can't get the... Oh, I can't even take that. There's a lot of can'ts here. There's a lot of can't, can't, can't. And if I push that, then it's... Push that, it takes and... Oh, I can just leave that. I can just leave that. Or oh, knight. Okay. Like we said, we bring the knight back. If he does take, we go here. But this time the bishop can block. Okay, nothing else to do there. We're going to have to suffer the consequences of our initial attack. Still focusing on trying to get the queen there, but it's not going to work because the opponent saw it. So this is one of those occasions where, again, we can sit behind the pawn for a bit. But in one of the recent games that we played, we said, why don't we just take it off the board? In this occasion, I don't think it's wise. Because he's going to be putting checks on. And he's got a white square bishop that's going to come and sit here. We're going to get jammed in. And his queen's already around our king area. But at this moment, I don't think taking with the king is going to work. I think we need to... Start putting some pressure towards their king somehow. I'm not saying it's going to work. I think we. Oh, we sh oh, it's okay. Whew. Because the bishop's protecting the knight, isn't it? But we're attacking the higher piece. But if he does this and blocks, but then the knight can take, so that's a good one. But if he goes there, it does give space for us to push, but we are giving up a pawn for no reason apart from. We're just wanting to protect our knight. So yeah, we've kind of sacrificed the pawn for what we're thinking is some sort of better position. But it's not because we're never getting in here. The bishop's always staying there. And the next move would be after, after they move, I think, is obviously pushing the pawn. They take and then getting the queen here. I don't think we'll be taking here, but the rook doesn't have any support at the minute. But we're just trying to eye it up. It's not gone up, it's gone here. But we can push. But well, we need to push, don't we? Because we have no protection for the knight. Does it give me anything? It doesn't at all, does it? Oh, but we could... Oh, no, but... But now no longer is the queen supporting the bishop. So we could bring the knight here. I think the timing's wrong on that, you know. He takes, we take. Bishop can't come there, so we can squeeze. I don't know. I don't think they're going to take anyway. If they don't take, then we can. Oh, they're not taking. It's got a two on one on the damn piece. We can actually put a check on the king, though. Which might. Does that help us? Because the rook... Oh, the queen's protecting. Oh, <laughs> I had lights flashing in my eyes there thinking I'm actually getting something here. 
Get the check on them, bang. Got the queens there. I am taking this pawn. Takes with the check. Maybe the king moves here and doesn't actually take with the pawn. No, I think they'll take with the pawn. Takes with the pawn. Anything else here? Nothing's taking it, but that's no, we'll lose the queen. Let's do it. I am taking the pawn with the check. Uh, the whole idea is trying to get this pawn, but tempo wise, not going to be fast enough. It's going to get protected by the bishop. And that pawn can push up and go and get promoted. Let's do it. Push, push, push. But they'll come and do this first, won't they? With the bishop. Which would allow us to do this. But then maybe they push the pawn down to protect. The queen just takes anyway. Do I need to get... Oh, I could put a check on the king, but there's nothing protecting here. Could just bring it here, supporting the pawn. Push, push, push. But the pawn is going to push down. Save the queen, couldn't we? So our king is currently okay. Let me just bring it here. Push. Maybe they don't take and the king comes here. Yeah, there might be that as well, might there? Let's bring the queen here. Looks like they might not have to take and just go there. Spoils it a bit. Not that we're going to get anything big here because he's going to have the rook defending. My poor king is all alone. Bishop's protecting you. You'll be okay. He's going to block it. So if we did push and then we got to here attacking this pawn bishop can come and defend can't it oh we do have a bit of a check -a rooney on the king but he's going to be moving but we get a pawn i think i'll go with them apples and he'll probably go here because he don't want the pawn pushing any f what the days is that oh no what i've done queen's coming here and he's got a checkmate. What have I done? Take this. Oh no, the queen takes. Damn it. I'm thinking I'm getting in there with the queen. But his queen's defending. Oh. They're spoiling everything for me. Up. Bishop's got a check on my king. I'm going to have to do this. And then he comes here. I come back and then he's got checkmate. Oh no. The dying seconds again. I say it every time. Don't I? They find these. In the dying seconds. Ah. Oh. Take. He might forget himself. But I don't think he will. Because he still can go check. And my king can't go anywhere. I should have just taken this off the board. Oh, Shaka. If we take his queen moves here, we're not going to be fast enough because our rook taking the bishop, he comes down, it's mate. Oh my god. How cool was that?
Right, take. Thumbs there. Push the palm. Thumbs down. All right, that's uh, that's the only thing I can do. I, I've messed it up somewhere. Is what doing? Tits in the pawn. Like the rook and the pawn. Not feeling it just yet. Coming anytime soon. Oh, he's defending everything. What's going on here? What's going on here? Did I move? Check. Ah, oh, got no chance. Ain't got a chance. I think I made that too hard for myself there. Yeah, I think I had it, but I made it too hard for myself. And yeah, I probably could have done that stuff earlier. Eee. Yeah. Got to look at what the opponent's doing. But also, you've got to improve your own position as well. You know, yeah, I could have done that better. Let me just, uh, it's the only one I'm doing the analysis on actually, isn't it? Let me just have a look at this. Did I start off? I think it's when they queenside castle that I think my plans and strategies go a little bit stranger. And I think I've got something when I don't really. I'm always thinking that, well, the Queenside Castle, they've weakened the area a bit. So the computer's not having any of that, but we're pushing through it. Look at that, man. 8.9 point. I knew there was something, I felt there was something. But I messed, I messed it up totally. Oh, shocking. So worried about the queen and all that, but I'm thinking there's something. I'm thinking there's a focal point here, but it's it all goes wrong. Look at that. It doesn't like the pawn push. I think I did that a bit too previous. So we've got the bit, um, bishop under attack. Maybe we should have brought the bishop back a little bit. Any attacks on the king, queen? Mm, maybe taking the pawn was better. But then it brings their pawns back in line. I'm going to see if that makes any difference. Taking the pawn. Not changed or am I not in the right thing? This analysis. Looks like, looks right. Takes. Yeah, so taking rather than pushing i'm thinking get it right up there and then i've got the queen coming in here take and if he takes with this one same thing oh look at that oh that's tasty isn't it oh ho, 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 ho. i know i messed it up damn i felt there was something but my pattern just went oh if i get this here then i can focus on here and I shouldn't have done that. This lovely pawn had done a fantastic job. I mean, oh, come on, dude. Look how simple that is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm talking about, we make them look good majority of the time. Yeah. Let's jump in on the last one for seeing the game through the opponent's perspective. Okay, playing as white again. Let's give it some, give it some thought. Let's attack the queen. 
And even though we're doing narration this time, I'm not going to want to use that as an excuse. I want to focus, do the calculation, look at it appropriately, and let's try and be a bit dynamic here and um, close out this session in a good way. I'm going to put a check on the king bait in the pawn. It's a bit of activity. Could bring the bishop back. Or I could bring it here, but it's just going to get chased around. It does like this nice position here. I'm actually going to bring it back for a change. Only reason I'm saying that is because I'm thinking my knight's coming here and I don't want the bishop blocking that way. And if they are pushing pawns, they're not developing any of the other minor or major pieces. It's not saying the pawns are weak because the pawns can do some fantastic things. Yep, let's just bring the bishop here. As we can see, it looks like they're not utilizing their pieces, they're focusing on the pawns, pushing them down, giving us things to think about, which is a good thing. But at the other side of the coin, you've got to think about your other pieces as well. And I'm just talking about my game, you know, so this is helping me to try and get a better understanding of the way that I play. Yeah, so they will push. Knight can come here, but it is on the edge. Doesn't mean that it's bad because it's on the edge, you know. Don't think there's many things that's going to be troubling it from there. I'm liking that position. I'm liking it. Bring it and then bring this knight this way. And we can just challenge this pawn. Got a white square bishop, got his knight. Yeah, I don't, I, I think I like this position because it does have scope. So we could push and then knight coming here, managing the center. That square bishop's looking to get in, but his own pawn is blocking. I think there's more positives. I think jumping the knight here. There's no other pawns that's stopping it from moving to this square, which is a good thing. Just it can't come back. It's got to go forward. And the bishop is probably going to open up. That can't hit it, but maybe the knight can try and come round. But the bishop's on it. But it's only got one piece. So if he gets a two on one on there, so if he does get his knight, say, to here, I mean, we could just take it off the board, can't we? gets his knight to there, we can just take it off the board. I think that's key. I think that's key. I've talked myself into that one. I was always going there anyway, but I just wanted to make sure. There. Oh yeah, so he's coming challenging. This is the two on one we're talking about. So the bishop and the, so we're gonna have to move the knight and the knight can't go here because the queen's there. So now we need to be proactive and get action stationed all right so we can we can we can we can we can oh yeah that's the pawn that's the pawn sorry yeah so when they push we can just jump here which they have done so we'll go here and take the pawn attacking the bishop at the same time in a nice square but obviously we're not going to go there Wanting to come to safety when they move their bishop, stopping our king from castling. Which gives space for the knight to come here. Anyway, stop calculating, there's too much. So it's a good job we prepared, just for that instance anyway, the knight being on the edge. It wasn't going to stay there forever and a day. We thought, well, okay, if it does start getting attacked with two on ones, we thought it was going to be more than night. But as soon as the bishop came, then we realized, yeah, they've got a two on one. So we could mobilize and defend. And because we'd worked out that pattern in our heads as to how it can escape, that helped us to smoothly get to this position. It's not saying it's winning. It's just looking at how we can try and beat these super ordinary 1100s or gain advantages in these types of games.
So we're stuck still, and they're stuck still, castling wise, no king safety. So yes, they have come and attacked, so I'm just going to basically do that. Get it out of the way so it's not stopping our king from castling. That was my knee-jerk reaction. And we're going to try and get to king safety. Gives us scope to be attacking this pawn at some point. And let's get castled for king safety. I feel we've done an okay job getting to this um, section here. Just because the opponent's moving fast now, I don't think I'm going to lose any sleep. So I'm going to bring the bishop here, x-raying through to the queen. They don't like that, even though we're not going to be taking. Got two pieces defending. But we can start putting some pressure on the pawn. The knight is in, doesn't like our bishop. So we can hit the pawn. Let's do the rhythm. We can hit the pawn. Pawn can take. The knight can take. The knight can take. The bishop can take. The bishop's we're always going to be protected. But they don't have to do any of that. They can just take our bishop off the board. With the knight. Excuse me. With the knight. So we've done the rhythm of the count there. We're trying to give them things to think about so they don't get castled or they're very late castling. So their pieces aren't working together. So they have done. So we will capture. And we could look to go for the exchange of the queens. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. But they've not castled. So I'm assuming they wouldn't if they're thinking of taking. I don't think they will. I think they'll just develop the bishop so that they can go and castle. Which gives us a bit of, not much of a tempo, because he can just take it back and his bishop is going to be in front. Alright, so he's adding the rook in there as well. So we could push the pawn past and not get involved in that fight, because he's putting loads of pieces on there. Actually, the rook is missed. No, no, it's um, attacking here. Attacking here. Sorry. He's only got one, two, three there. We've got one, two, three. So we... Probably don't need to lose much sleep. Maybe just bring the rook here and support. If the pawn does stay, we go with the rook. See if the rook gets goes for the exchange and that type of thing, maybe. I'm still worried about this bishop thinking it's being clever jumping in at the last minute. We go here. Maybe he puts another piece in there. No, maybe not. Bishop moves for castling. We take. Bishop takes. Rook takes because they've not castled and get a check on the king. Okay, I think we'll go with that. Try not to overcomplicate it. Okay, they're moving quick. So we can take, like we said, but this is where it's. Can take. And then the bishop takes is on our queen. But then we can take three rook with a check on his king. His king can't go anywhere. So the bishop has to come and defend. But they're not going to do that. They'll take the rook off the board first. Right, so we take. They'll take our rook off the board. It's no check and then we'll take their queen off the board. Yep, let's do it. So it seems to be all positives, no matter what they do. We'll put the check on the king, like we said. King comes up. All right, so we go and save the, um, the, uh, the rook. I bring in the queen across here. And we didn't go this far. All we went to was the rook being up there. And they did the move order slightly differently. But it seems to be okay-ish. And um, it's saying plus six there because we're up the exchange from that. So calculation, key thing, like we said right at the very beginning. Oh, so now this leaves me open, does it? Does this knight come in and do some fancy trap? Let's take. So from the very beginning of this game, we've looked at what it is that the opponent's attempting to do and blocking it off and trying to win those key 10 P in terms of giving them things to think about, but not over egging what we're doing. 
So I'm not going to monologue anymore because you know what these games are like. It's these key moments where they find the magic. We're currently winning in terms of material. Right, so the queen is looking to get lively now. Probably looking to sit here attacking the knight. Can we bring the knight up? Are we trapping our queen? Can we attack their queen? We bring the queen here and then it's defending it's defending the knight if the queen's coming down here, but it's not defending this pawn. Or do we just bring it all the way back and just protect everything? Yeah, I think we just do that because it's not doing much there. Yeah, could attack the queen, actually. Don't want to waste the move. Let's attack the queen. Onto the other side of the board is attacking this pawn here. So we could do one of two things this or attack the queen with the knight. Well, they're still carrying on, so they're probably. What? The... Did I miss something? Oh, phew. Oh, okay. So that's it. That's the session on the looking at the opponent's perspective and it's not rocket science in terms of what we have to do but it is a science all the same and it's about for me looking deeper at what the opponent is really trying to do and genuinely trying to block it off as best possible 